With us now is Doug Ellison, one of JPL's visualization wizards, who's going to tell us more about eyes on the solar system and some of the other great applications we have. So give us a tour, eyes on the solar system. So thanks, Kay. What, what Eyes on the Solar System is a tool that lives on people's computers via their web browser. It lives at eyes.nasa.gov. Any reasonably modern PC or Mac can go and use it. And it puts the planets, their moons, asteroids, comets, and loads of our robotic envoys that have been exploring them over almost 50 years of exploration right in your, at your fingertips. And you can go and ride on board these spacecraft. You can recreate flybys of places like uh, Saturn with uh, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. You can ride on board Juno as we fly across the solar system towards Jupiter. And loads of different missions are all in there for you to use and enjoy. So we have actual footage of it so Let's you can sort of demonstrate some of the things it can do. Here it comes. So this is what Eyes on the Solar System looks like when you first load it. You can, uh, you can just like using Google Earth, but it's inside out. It's everything else. Here's, uh, you can use bookmarks and go straight to Voyager 1 flying past Saturn. This is all the way back in 1980. Here's Cassini arriving at Saturn. You see the spacecraft turning around, firing its main engine, putting itself into orbit. All of this is actually real reconstructed engineering data. This is Juno orbiting Jupiter in uh, 2014, where you do all of its science. All of these things are right there in Eyes on the Solar System. But everyone tonight is worried and thinking about EDL. Of course. And Curiosity's landing. What can you do with that? We've had some amazing help from some of the navigation team. And they've given us some beautiful predicted trajectories, some simulation data that takes us all the way from, as we are now, about 13,000 miles away from Mars, all the way to the surface. And people going to eyes.nasa.gov eyes.nasa.gov can use that themselves as well. We don't just have a live mode for people to enjoy. We can actually also fast forward and preview the rest of this evening's events as well. In fact, if we, uh, if we go to John's feed, okay. my colleague John is using Eyes on the Solar System right now. And that's a, a live view right now of where Curiosity is. But if we could skip through the preview mode, you'll actually see this is MSL in just about an hour and a half's time, just before it hits the top of the Martian atmosphere. And we can fast forward through time using the control at the bottom of the screen. We're speeding up time and making our seven minutes of terror much, much shorter here. So we'll be using cuts of this. We'll be cutting to it throughout the evening. Yes, we but will. But people can load this on their computer they can right do now. It. They can do it right at home. And we've had something like 400,000 people use it today already. And uh, we're, we're ready for a whole lot more people to come along and enjoy the ride as well. All right. So what else do you got? Well, we don't just stop with the whole solar system. We look at the Earth as well. A lot of what JPL does is, in fact, Earth sciences, and not a lot of people know that. So we have a tool called Eyes on the Earth. It's like a sister product to Eyes on the Solar System. And in there, you can look at real-time climate data. Every single day, we update data sets from a variety of different missions, and you can put them right on your desktop. You can bring in carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, air temperature, loads of different values. And it lets people understand exactly how much work we're doing to understand what this planet is up to. And there's still more applications. Of course, Eyes on the Earth has a twin sister on uh, on mobile phones called uh -huh. Earth Now that we'll be doing both for uh, it's on iOS already and Android very very soon. And uh, I think the most popular application we've done recently is called Spacecraft 3D, which is and this is very, the this one. Is, here it is. So, this is the one I wanted to see. <laughs> so Spacecraft 3D is an augmented reality application, which means it uses okay. an image. In fact, you print it out when you install the application. You can print out this image at home. And it uses this image, which is actually, as it happens, a, a test image from Curiosity's microscope of some sand grains. We just use it as a reference. And then your mobile phone or your iPad sees this image and knows where you are and can start drawing a 3D model of what Curiosity looks like. OK, so, so you have to have this in order yes, to be able to do this. Yes, you print this image out. And okay. what you get, and hopefully we can show it to people at home. All right. Here's my iPad Live. And it's just seen the image. We See, hide the image. It hand. goes away. And there's Curiosity there drawn over the top. And this is actually how Curiosity will look when we land on the Martian surface. You can see the camera mast right here is actually stowed. But we can animate various parts of the rover. And so I can hit this button here and deploy the mast. And there it goes. This is what Curiosity will look like after a few days on the surface. And I won't move the iPad too much, because otherwise the cameraman will get angry with me. But <laughs> we can move the image instead. You can actually see okay, the image right behind on, us Curiosity. here. Let's there it is. see you spin. Smile. There you go. And we can animate right. other things as well. We can even bring the robotic arm out as well. Here it goes. There's the robotic arm coming out. There we she can goes. get really close and look at the instruments on board the end of the robotic arm. We can see things right on the deck of the rover, all the way up to the top of the camera mast. See the two mast cams and chem cam right there. Now, this is something that people can do in their own homes, with their own iPhones, yes. with their own iPads. It's uh, iPad and iPhone right now. We're going to be doing an Android version in just a few weeks' time. What a lot of fun. This is a blast. See?
and it's magic. <laughs> <laughs> it's, we have been accused of magic. It is, it is incredible how, just how much fun it can be to have curiosity sat right on top of your table, on your floor. Uh, we've even had some friends uh, take uh, screenshots of this with it sat on their dog's head. And I understand there, there will be other spacecraft besides Curiosity. Right now, there's Curiosity and the Grail spacecraft. We have okay. two Grail spacecraft uh, orbiting the moon. And in a few weeks' time, we're going to update this to include uh, Cassini, which is at Saturn, okay. Voyager at the edge of the solar system, and uh, the uh, Dawn spacecraft, which is on its way away from uh, the asteroid Vesta right now. Sounds a lot of fun, and you can impress your friends. Thanks, Doug. My pleasure.